So you are having your leg and now you are thinking of how you can create the foam following the shore lines of your leg. And this is how you can do the basics of that effect. The first step is to create a plane. So shift plus A and then let's add here a plane. This is going to be the foam. So let's move it to the shore of this leg. And let's move it so that it's partly inside of the land like that and then we go in edit mode and in edge selection mode we can go in top view and then let's just start control plus right clicking until we will create a full circle around this leg and then we will close the ring with selecting these two and pressing F to create a face there. Now let's press Z to go in wireframe mode and then we wanna select the outer ring of these edges so in tab, edit mode and then, then alt plus left click, select all of those. And we go here to vertex selection mode now. And then we can go here to the, the object data properties. And then we have here this vertex colors. So we are going to do something here with these vertex colors. So now we go here to the vertex paint mode. So we click this button here to have the selection active here in vertex paint mode and then we have the black color here and then we will select paint and then set vertex colors and that will paint all of these vertices with black color and that will create for us in the vertex colors here this data named call. So let's rename this to be foam. And that's everything we need to do here in Vertex Paint. So we can go back to Object Mode and then we can go back to Solid or in this rendering mode or whatever. We also wanna have here these vertex groups just in case if we wanna have particles in this thing. We can click here plus and then in Edit Mode uh, when those are selected we click here Assign. And that's all. Let's call this Particles. Alright, and then we can go to shading tab. Alright, so let's create the material now. So we click here this shading and then here we click new and let's rename this to be foam. Foams. And then um, I will make this a little bit bigger. So uh, then what we do next is that we will add here a attribute node and with this attribute node we can call this foam data block so now if we write here foam we can press here ctrl plus shift plus left click and then we go here in rendering mode we can see our uh, vertex paintings here like that so okay so we need to use that data now to make this half transparent and let's add here a transparent shader for that. Shift plus A, search transparent. And let's mix these two together. Control plus Shift plus right click. And then we will connect this color, color of this attribute to this factory of this mix shader. And then we will connect this to the surface. You can delete that weaver. Okay. And then we need to go here to the material properties because the transparency is not visible here and the reason for that is from in these settings of this material. So the blend mode here, let's change this to be alpha hast and that will make it visible. And it looks like that the transparency is in wrong side of this our object. So we will switch this to just like that and the transparency is going here towards in the interiors of this lake, which is the idea of the whole thing. Okay. And then it looks okay is, but I think I wanna have a little bit more details to that and that is easy to do with a noise texture. So sit plus A search noise texture and select this one, not white noise, but this noise texture. And we will mix it with this attribute. So control plus shift plus right click again and do this mix node here. So now, and let's keep this to be 0.5 so we have exactly 50% of it, both of these and then we will add here ramp so shift plus a search and write here ramp and select this color ramp and add it here and then with this color ramp we can kind of make the effect more visible as you can see so that looks quite cool and now only by just adjusting this or noise texture 
we can make it more detailed. And you can add here more roundness if you want to. And maybe distortion if you think that there is a little bit turbulence in your leg. Yeah, just do what you feel is good for your scene and what is the correct scale of your scene. You don't need to do much more than that, except you need to adjust this principle shader. So uh, if you have a foam texture, you can connect it to this base color. So I select this and press Ctrl plus T and then I will just open the foam. By the way, this texture is from Pixabay. So the texture which I'm using is actually this one here. So uh, I, I will put this link to the description so you can download this. But uh, what I did is that I was using the image editor and, that, and I clone, clone stamped this little flower out and then I painted over these little reflexes to make the texture look like this. And if you wanna download that one, I think I can upload this to the Dropbox also and give link to that also. So yeah, this is very basic, nothing very complex, you can do that. And that looks quite all right, in my opinion already. If you wanna use particle system here, you can do that also. Let's go back to layout and then select that this or foam uh, surface here. You go here to the particle settings and you click here plus and then you can go here here and then you can here uh, go advanced and now we need to create the particle object and um, let's move the 3d cursor here and let's create the particle object to be icosphere I'm, I'm going to model it very randomly uh, let's maybe select here actually let's uh, control plus t2 I added uh, two levels of subdivision surface and then I'm gonna apply this. So now I'm having a little bit more geometry here to work with and I will go here select and select random hand maybe add just this little bit smaller amount. This is something that you don't need to do. Maybe you are completely happy already what we are having here. So this is, this is just completely bonus thing. So I will make this to be this kind of very random looking object with proportional editing and then uh, select it and then right click shade smooth okay so what to do next uh, we select again this or foam and then go back to the particle system settings and then here we go to render and it's going to be object and then it's going to be this object so select with this pivot tool and now we are having this kind of foam here and let's maybe make a material for that or foam thing also so we go in shading tab again and and i'm gonna use here the same foam material as i was having there and then i will click here this uh, double thing button so this is kind of an individual material and then here I'm having this bubbles PNG so I will make this to be box and then do it blend so yeah you can do better than that but I don't wanna use too much time with this tutorial so that's why it's going to be like that in this case and now I'm gonna select again this or foam thing and then we go back to the particle system settings and then we will scroll down to the vertex groups and here we will select the density to be the particles and then the length to be particles also. So that's it. Now we are having some foam things here happening. Maybe I will make a little bit more transparency. Oh, wait a minute. I will, I will select that again and then I will edit a little bit of this transparency shader thing here. So there is a little bit transparency and those are not too strong looking things. And I don't need to take care of this attribute because this attribute here is doing nothing because those objects are not having an uh, form attribute there. And then we can change the particle system settings here. And let's go to, for example, rotation and then change this to be normal and then randomize and then face and then randomize everything so no those are all going to be in a different angle and then <coughs> uh, render and then maybe okay i don't know i don't know do i like this 
Uh, I think I wanna smooth this a little bit. Uh, I go here in edit mode and right click and then smooth vertices. Okay, is it any better? And now here in particle system settings again, uh, scale random. So yeah, now if I'm having more of those, it kind of looks more realistic, I guess. And also, uh, if you have this object here selected, you and you are having here in your lake, for example, the ocean modify. So for that, you actually need to have here the modifier, which is called shrink wrap. So by that way, you can make it follow the lake. I think I will try to change it a little bit with textures. Let's go here to the particle system settings and textures and then new and then uh, let's go here to the texture settings and here make it to be clouds and then uh, here in the influence let's add here uh, density and then physical velocity. So with that we can kind of control the particles with this texture thing here. Let's go back to particle settings and make them a little bit now bigger. And now it looks a little bit more natural. So yeah, okay. I think that was everything I wanted to tell you about this tutorial. I know this is this this was a little bit longer and more complex than what I was thinking that it would be. But yeah, I hope you can learn this. If if you have any questions please add them below and I will try to answer those or someone smarter than me will answer those. But yeah, thanks for watching and God bless.